What's up, everybody? It's Stephen Williams, founder and president of CreditRepairShop.com. I'm down here in my basement. If you don't live in a state that has basements, what we do here in Wisconsin, and I'm in my gym. I have my own little workout area that my wife built for me. I actually have three workout areas. And remember the Bowflex? Look at that. Remember the Bowflex? I still have my Bowflex. I take care of it. It works for me, my bench. My elliptical, I have two ellipticals and then my little, what is that, that little weight set right there. But here, what I wanted to, let me get in a better position with the light. What I want to talk about is I want to congratulate Connie. She watched one of the YouTube videos that I had and she had actually even contacted me. Uh, she was very respectable uh, uh, of my time, but what I really want you to do and what I asked her to do is if I give you this information, I want you to follow through with it. Don't just let it pass in one ear and out another ear. You know, like it's just something that someone just threw to you just to uh, get you to get away from them. I gave her straight up information on what to do if a debt collector was trying to sue you. And one was try taking her to court. This is not just a letter. They were taking her to court. And I told her exactly what to do, which was the, the first thing I did is I asked what was her financial situation so we could see if there's a way to just stop the court action. Because I know how people get scared when it's time to go to court. Um, so I asked her her financial situation and she was not going to be able to be sued. So I told her what to do and she called a debt collector and they canceled uh, or they uh, said that you're not going to have to show up to court and that they were going to dismiss it. I told her, don't take their word. Take all of the information. Uh, write down the time that you called them so you can be in court. So just in case they try to fool you and get a default judgment because you're not there, uh, you want to be there and then repeat to the judge what they said. As soon as they called her name, they said dismissed right away she didn't even get to talk or anything in there but she had told me which was things that i've told you in the past that there are people that don't show up to court and they get tons of default judgments so people put some people put comments i'm not saying you but people put comments on my videos talking about don't pay debt collectors this and that they can't come and get your money all that all that crazy stuff and this is someone that does not work for me that just uh, got information from me, went to court, and she was able to get her, her case dismissed. But she told me that there were tons of people that didn't show up. And then check this out. This is the kicker. She said the ones that did show up that didn't know their rights, the same rights that I told her that she had, they were just opting in to pay the debt collectors. Like, hey, like, like the debt collector was doing them a favor to have them pay them the money. So you got to know your rights. You got to listen to me on these videos. I, li I do this work for clients on a daily basis. This isn't something that I do um, part-time or something like that. I've seen thousands, literally thousands of different types of credit files and debt collector files. Uh, next thing is she's uh, go, had to go to court again for another account. And this company did not provide all of the information that was needed. And I told her exactly what to do. And I said it might be a little variation on, the, on what might happen, but just go there and you have your arguments. And the judge was in a way on her side, but being a fair judge, which I really do give this judge credit, and this is an honest judge that's, that's just straight down the middle. He asked the questions of the debt collection company lawyer that was there, and he ended. they didn't have the information. They said that they, they were waiting on more documents, which she had in turn said that I've given them time to get the documents, but the judge just said, we're going to give them more time, which I told her that that was possible. But it sets up the next court date for if they don't have that information, they're going to dismiss it. And even if they call her and say that they're going to dismiss it, she still needs to show up in court to make sure that they don't try to get a default judgment by her not being there. If you, even if they tell you something over the phone, 
If you don't show up, they're going to just pretend like they didn't talk to you on the phone and get the default judgment. Then it's going to be up to you to have to go back in the court to get that opened up, back up. But again, when she was in court, she said the same thing, that the people didn't know their rights. There was out of probably about 30 names, she said, uh, only about a handful showed up and all of them just but even before they even went in front of the judge was making deals with the debt collector without even asking them to validate any of the information, without asking them anything. She knew what to ask them and it bagged them up into a corner. It made them ask for more time. And if they don't get those documents, that case is going to be dismissed because they have to have that information. So, uh, I'm putting together, uh, when, when I can set aside a time and, and Connie can set aside a time, we're going to, going to actually record what happened because I think it's best to hear it from first hand knowledge of someone that's not connected to me. So you can, I know you trust me, but I want to even show you from someone that's not connected with my company that I gave this information to, to do it. And this is, inf this is stuff that we handle for clients. Uh, even if you're in a different area, we tell you what to do. Uh, an attorney, they wanted, uh, an attorney said that he would go into court for her and he was going to charge the money. And I said, it was up to you. I'm not going to give you any legal advice, but it's up to you. I'm going to, you know, share with you what you would be able to do. And if you want to go in there, you have your own right to be able to do that. Uh, so we're going to put that video together so you can hear exactly what happened firsthand how people were walking up and just giving away their rights all of that it was just the same thing that i experienced when i had went to court years ago uh is the same thing that she was experiencing so thank you i want you to have an excellent day uh forgive me i'm still sweating here i did exercise i do exercise and on thursdays i don't work uh on thursdays i basically work uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Those are my uh, days. And Friday is really uh, kind of like an off day also. So really work hard three days a week and take the rest of the time. is just kind of floating. Uh, so again, if you need help or just watch my videos, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Share it with your friends and family. This is real information. It's not going to be the same like it was before. We're going to give you information on how to get beat these debt collectors how to get debt collectors off of your back how to uh, uh, validate debt collections all of that this is what i teach you on how to do for yourself or if you need a company like us to do it you can uh, visit my website the credit repair shop dot com uh, if you need your credit reports and scores because remember everything starts from there go to www.my3 scores dot com my the number three scores dot com uh the links are below this video please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and family and if you haven't worked out today or you haven't been working out you need to get to work out even if you're just walking on a treadmill for 20 minutes you need to take care of your body you need to think positive you need to uh think of how you want your life to be don't think about circumstances uh, and things that are happening to you right now you can do it. You had a power within you. Thank you and have a great day.